All right. Play some Star Wars The Old Republic again in trooper mode, and we are going to Makeb, where we will liberate that planet from the huts. This is the expansion Rise of the Heart Car Hut Cartel. Um, not one of my favorite expansions, but oh well, it'll have to do. But first, let's check some mail. Let's see, you. Mission Commander, uh-huh. And then, yeah, from the Jedi Knight. Okay. That's all I got. All right. From now on, we'll be talking exclusively to the Mission Council. This has all the stuff going on. Um, yep. That'll be first. The other ones won't be uh, available yet um, until we get a higher level, but or at least until we get far enough, but... Anyways, my cab. This is the farthest I've ever gotten with the trooper was a little bit through my cab and then I just stopped playing the trooper. So, here we go. Something's up on the emergency hollow. Please stand by for a priority communication from Supreme Chancellor Leon Teen Suresh. Of oh, okay. Republic. I'm just going to float here. You outside normal channels, Major. But Major. I need Havoc Squad immediately. We're prepared to handle anything you need, Madam Chancellor. It'll be good to get back in the fight. Yep. That's the spirit we'll need to triumph over our foes. And it appears we have a new one. The Hut <sighs> Cartel has invaded Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. We will respond to this unprovoked act of aggression in full force. Sure. My war council will be convening on Keylander Station in the Makeb system. I ask that you join us immediately. I'll set a course for the Makeb system right now. <laughs> you mean they'll set a course for it? We're not doing squat. I don't know how you could see all of that in a battle situation, you know? Your consoles are below the screen, so relying heavily on sensors. Proceed to the conference chamber on Keylander Station. I'll meet you there. Please hurry. We must act quickly and decisively against the Hutt's aggression. Shouldn't the station be diagonal to the planet? Or, I mean, per perpendicular to the planet? I mean, I don't know. I know it looks cool and all, but you would think the space station would be perpendicular to the planet. Considering that up is basically wherever the, is up in space. There's no directional up. Based on Ready. whatever the planets are. Never mind. That's viral, check. Tropical antibacterials, check. Antivenoms, check. See that that's what happens. You'll get random speech bubbles like that from um, your companion. So they did have the voice actors and actresses return for each companion to say something in certain locations, but it's not like, you know, any dialogue between uh and three in a cutscene anyways. Most cordial greetings. I am Zen Prelo, Republic Protocol Officer. Welcome to Makeb and Keylander Station. Okay. Please hold all questions. Supreme Chancellor Suresh and the delegation are arriving. Look, I know C3PO is like a the card the, the droid archetype. Why do they all have to look like him is beyond me. Everyone, this brave soldier assumed command of Havoc Squad in its darkest hour and led it to many victories. I regret that such heroism must remain classified. Havoc Squad doesn't ask for fame, Madam Chancellor. It's enough for us to know the Republic is safe. I want the galaxy to know you're a hero. People need them, especially now. No, they don't. Victory over the Empire lies within our grasp. No, it doesn't. First, we must face a cowardly act of unwarranted aggression. Supreme Commander Malcolm. Thirteen days ago. The Hutt Cartel violated Republic space and seized the planet Makeb. They've blockaded the system with 30 Ajur class heavy cruisers. Principal Lewis. Makeb citizens have formally pledged to join the Republic if we respond to their crisis. We will not abandon them to the Hutt's brutality. Invading a planet is way beyond casinos and spy smuggling. The slugs have upped their game. Sure. The Hutt's haven't organized a military operation of this scale for millennia, and I want it to stay that way. Severe atmospheric conditions on Makeb make large-scale troop landings impossible. We need help from local resistance forces to pull this off. One of Makeb's business leaders, Shalem Avesta, is awaiting you on the surface. I want you working closely with him. 
I'm surprised the planet's army didn't put up a fight. Or did the Huts defeat them? McKeb's entire military strength came from hired mercenaries. Hmm. The Huts simply bought them off. Liberating McKeb is your top priority. But I want the Huts' ambitions ended permanently. Grandmaster Satil Shan has insight regarding our enemy's future plans. The Jedi Council has meditated on the cartel's actions. We believe that McKeb is a staging point for a larger attack on the entire galaxy. The Huts will not be allowed to expand their dominion at our expense. It's always an honor to face down the enemies of the Republic, Madam Chancellor. When our enemy realizes who they're facing, I predict a hasty retreat. Doubt it. A shuttle will transport you to Shayla Mavesta's encampment on the surface. Go now and show the galaxy the Republic is not to be trifled with. <laughs> I like how Suresh assumes this is an invasion when it's actually not. In fact, I believe if we look at the greater galaxy map right now... I mean, it's close to Republic space, but it's not really technically in Republic space. It's in Hut space. You want to get technical about it. I mean, it's close, but there is a whole system in between Mon and Makeb here. So, Suresh is just all happy to pull the trigger whenever somebody gets an inch. She'll want to fight it back, so... Unless it's Republic making advances into other people's territories, it's considered a hostile takeover. Send everything at it. Everyone, sir? Everyone! You're one of the Republic heroes come to free my homeworld. You're just... <laughs> wow. I wish we'd joined the Republic ages ago. I know I am that impressive. When you stand with the Republic, it stands with you. We'll protect you from the huts, the Empire, and anyone who threatens your freedom. That means a lot. The past two weeks have been a nightmare. Sure. I was here when the huts blocked all of McKeb's comm channels. Haven't been able to get a signal from my family since. No idea what's happened down there. There's only one way to find out. Fire up that shuttle's engines. Don't know if they told you, but uh, McKeb's atmosphere is a real mess. Most ships get torn to bits by electrical storms on entry. Yeah, or whatever. Special ion shields to absorb the electromagnetic interference. But we're still in for a rough ride. Hopefully we won't land in little pieces. Ion shielding, huh? Wouldn't mind some of that. Lots of hot landing zones around the galaxy. Yep. Get rid of those huts, Major. And our business council will buy you a ship ten times nicer than mine. I wish. My shuttle's prepped. Hop aboard and we'll be on our way. I want to take your anti-nausea stims, too. Hey, is there a movie on this flight, or...? It's a lot better than how the Imperials land. The Imperials just crash land onto the planet. This is where the fun begins. That comes, that's my go-to line around work whenever I'm going to do something I, regr I don't want to do. <laughs> Um, yep, this is where the fun begins. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You want any of these, darling? Not that one. You're entirely too kind. Thank you. All right. Republic police force is here. Welcome, Major. I'm Shalem Avesta. The Supreme Chancellor pledged support, but the Elite Havoc Squad? Yeah. It's an honor. My family helped found McKeb. The Vesta Mining has led our business council for decades. I was practically chief of state before the cartel's takeover. It wasn't an easy decision. But if joining the Republic is the only way to reclaim my home world's freedom, so be it. Everybody else will leave. <laughs> so, before we get into it, um... Well, never mind, Alice... You don't sound happy about this alliance. What made your decision to accept the Republic's help so difficult? The cab's been independent since our founding. It's always been part of our people's character. Ilasov is a former mercenary with the interest. Not for the butt shots already. Until recently, the cab's trusted private army and police force. Butt shot. The regulators sold out to the huts. Hi, Steve Bloom. For credits. How's it going? Exceptions like him, notwithstanding. The cartel bought off the regulator forces and turned our former protectors against us. 
The coup of this scale doesn't happen overnight. The Huts must have had these mercenaries in their pockets for months. Some regulators started doing side jobs for the cartel a while back. They're all in command positions now. Dun dun dun. I still don't know why this has happened. We've conducted peaceful business with the Hut cartel for years. Oops. Casualty and damage reports coming in. Talau City got rattled pretty hard, but no injuries. Lucky. That's the fifth ground quake since the Hut's takeover. The last one leveled the Tigan mining colony. They're still pulling bodies from the rubble. These ground quakes started after the huts invaded. Doesn't sound like a coincidence. Yep. You weren't the first to voice that thought. My niece Lambda is a respected geophysicist. She joined our resistance to prove there's a link between the ground quakes and the huts' deep core mining. Yep. She was taking seismic readings on a deserted mesa when a whole company of regulators swarmed in. We lost contact with her. I sent search parties to bring Lemda back. But they aren't trained or equipped to fight a mercenary force of that size. I have a feeling your niece discovered something, and the Hut sent the regulators to stop her from getting away. That's my fear as well. Dun dun dun. Yeah, reports from our search parties. Dozens of regulators have pushed them back to the landing zone. If we lose that, we'll never find Lemda. We'll show those traitor mercenaries what real soldiers look like. Don't <laughs> underestimate them. A lot of regulators are ex-military. Well, I'm current military, so suck it. To friend Mesa. Lane Farrow is our man at the landing zone. All right. So before I was going to stop the dialogue tree, any character you bring in any of the following missions get different dialogue selections and choices. Um, they'll say different things. They'll make re different remarks about your character, like, oh, we're half a squad, or you're a Jedi, or what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. Selected available travel route. I don't know what I can't remember what the smuggler gets to say, but eh. so this this woman that you're coming up to rescue here, she's uh you can flirt you can flirt with her if you want. You don't have to. Um but the thing is if you can't the only thing you get out of her is a kiss. You don't get like a relationship or anything, she doesn't call you back or anything like that. Shalem Avesta sent us. You're in charge here? Reinforcements. We're saved. Frosk! Havoc squad's here! <laughs> Speak up, Lane. Not sure the whole Mesa heard you. My name's Prosk. In case Slick here didn't enunciate clearly. <gasps> Kid's an accountant. Barely knows which way to point a blaster. Come on. Can't say I'm much better. Used to be a mining foreman. Anybody should know how to bl gun case, or blaster. Doing much against the regular Lightsaber. Case. What's the plan, boss? Ready your blasters and take cover. Don't stop firing until those mercs are on the run. You heard the major. We can do this. Scouts report regulators headed this way. Big group. Everyone's manning a barricade. Um, find one and dig in. Alright, so all I have to do is pick whatever side you want to get in with. You can do this one, that one, or that one. I usually do the middle two, or the middle one, or the left one. I don't usually do this one. Let's do this one. Uh, this one's a little bit harder to do with stealth, so you're just going to have to wing it. It doesn't matter which one you pick, left or right. Just pick one. And then these enemies will start spawning. And you're in combat, so good luck. That's it. Pretty simple. The regulators didn't stand a chance against Havoc Squad, Major. I'll drink to that, Slick. Those mercs will think twice about hitting us again. We owe you one. Knowing your people had my back made things a lot easier. You've got a solid team. Huh. Solid might be generous. But we're doing our best, Major. Shalem sent you to find Lemda, right? Bring back his geo... whatever niece <laughs> in research. We haven't had much luck there. Her campsite was ransacked. The regulators must have already captured her and confiscated all the research data. Shalem's right. She found something important. This just became a rescue mission. 
If the regulators have Lemda, where would they take her? Scanners indicate no one except you has landed on or left the Mesa since the regulators came. Probably to Wendy's. That means she's still here. Probably at one of their camps. Great. There's half a dozen camps and no way to pinpoint which one she's at. Have to keep hitting them until she turns up. Assaulting enemy camps in hostile territory to rescue a hostage? That's right up Havoc Squad's alley. Oh yeah. You're like one of those Hollywood heroes. A few of our search parties never made it back. If you find any other prisoners, send them here. Someone here might know how to slice the regulators' comm frequency and find out what they're doing. Ask around, Prosk. Slick takes charge with his big brain. On it, boss. We'll hold this landing zone as long as it takes. Good luck. Yeah, it's pretty bad when you're pushed back to the landing zone. Okay, straight up, just go to different camps and cause havoc. That's what we're good at. I mean, I just don't really care for this planet. It's the color scheme just drives me nuts. You'll notice I mentioned about color schemes in almost every other video about why I hate this place, because the color sucks. I was just checking to see if I had to kill people or not. I was checking to see if I had to kill people or not. I don't, so. Do, do, do. It's so much easier doing this as stealth. You have to kill this SOB. And, you know, it's just how it is. I did manage to get a level today, so I'm at 56 now, which is good because you get another armor set. And then it's like 60, 65, and I believe 70 is the last one, or 75. One of those two. All right, here we go. Here comes a here comes a nuisance. Red team, come in. This is Vice Commandant Grevin. We've scanned heavy fire in your zone. Status report. The battle's over. Your team lost. Hand over the scientist you captured. Save it, soldier. I have a legal arrest warrant for Lemda Avesta, signed by the Hut Cartel leaders. You're outnumbered by troops who have run ops in 30 systems. Huh. Our victory rate is 100%. Same here. You got lucky this time. It won't happen again. Says you. The game allows me to win all the time. You jerk. Ah, crap. Stealth through here now. Do 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 Look at all these idiots. That's what I hate about not stealth. You have to fight through all these ding dongs. Or is this is like ah let's get through it. Cheat a little bit and go up there. There we go. Not sure if there's anybody else in the plant doing this mission, but okay. You should have taken the hint. Ha! Huh. I command the regulators, and I've got plenty of reinforcements to throw your way. Now they're angry. Whatever the huts are paying, it's not enough. Quit while you're behind. This op will be profitable long after you're gone. I doubt it. It's Prosk. You read? Mm hmm. We slice the Merc's comm network. Hearing all kinds of interesting chatter. Mm hmm. Whatever you're doing, it's paying off. The Mercs have pulled back. The landing zone's all ours. Dig in and be ready in case they come back. Understood. We'll keep listening to the Merc's bellyache, too. Might learn something we can use. What the hell's going on? Keep up the pressure. In combat? No. I heard something weird. Hmm. Okay. Oh, must have been somebody else doing something. Ugh. I guess there are people still doing this area. I don't know. I really don't care for McKeb. Not that enjoyable. Oh, this loke. Hmm. 
Okay, well, never mind. Let's do it ourselves. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at this place. It's just Blasville. There's trees and the rocks and the satellites. Man, for a bunch of regulators, they sure know how to set up, set up camp real quick. All right, we're going to have to murder these three clowns. There's one. Yeah, we're a little higher than what was needed for this level, but that's fine. Prosk, come in. We've taken out multiple regulator camps. Still no sign of Lambda. Scouts report you've got those mercenaries chasing their own tails. Lambda has to be nearby. I'll take some men out and cover more ground. Think you're clever? Killing my people? Slicing our comm channel? Every time you hit us... The huts crack down even harder on the nice people of Makeb. They're dying because of you. You're supposed to protect Makeb, but you sold out to the huts. How much are they paying you to execute innocent people? Enough, obviously. Huh. Make your peace while you can. You're a dead man. When I find you, you'll be dead. By the end of the stream, you'll be dead. I guarantee that. If all goes well, he'll be dead by the end of the stream. Remote village. Cloak. Just sneak through all this stuff. You don't have to do it. I mean, you can if you want to slow down your gameplay. We're not doing this as a speed run. We're just doing it just to you know, skip some of this junk. I'm really just tired of doing all the, this, this area and um, Ilum were probably the worst areas in Star Wars. Dang it. So we can't do anything with this tube thing here. Some lady being in a Bothka tank, whatever. Bothka tank? I don't know. Anyways. Do you read? Another camp down and still no lambda. Any luck on your end? Hang on. Getting a distress call. It's her. Patching through. Mask, is this stupid thing working? Hello? Hello? We read you, lambda. Your uncle sent a rescue team. We know Madala. Look. Shalem didn't send more? Where enough. Give us your coordinates and we'll get you to safety. My guards abandoned their posts and left me alone. You must be the murdering scum they went after. You really can't I find me. I and ran to the nearest quake shelter. I'm the only person here. Sending you coordinates. Don't move. The mace is crawling with regulators. Stay put and let us come get you. I'm not setting foot out there. <laughs> Wait, what was that noise? Is that on your end? Uh, lost her. They're blocking her signal. My team's close to that quake shelter. Meet you there. Don't die, Prosk. We love you. All the all the teams love you. All the audience love you. Don't die on us, Prosk. You're like the fan favorite. You make this place worth worth playing. Don't fall down that gap. All right, so we're hidden over here. The last time I played through this um, area, I had difficulty speaking because there literally wasn't much to talk about this place. This place is just so droll. No. no. You got a lot of my friends killed today. Steve Blum again. Grevin said I could return the favor. Turn around slowly. <laughs> this is a republic world now. My hand. That woman is a republic citizen. Stand down, or you'll answer to me. 
We're already earning enough from this job to retire. Once you're dead, we can do it in style. That's Steve Blum, all right. Almost Spike Spiegel right there. The shelter's collapsing. We have to get out. Don't do this. If this shelter collapses, we'll all be crushed. You've got bigger problems. <gasps> da -da 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 -da. He got hit with a rock. He should be dead. The shelter's coming down. Can we leave already? See you later. Who built this? The lowest bidder? <laughs> no, or we're dead. Ah. <laughs> uh. This is a quick quip before I get killed. Game's bonding it up. A ground quake like that in McKev's history. Geologic and some butt shots again. Since the hut takeover, seismic readings and core stability fluctuations both indicate impending catastrophe. Hmm. These ground quakes are the direct result of hut deep core mining that's going to destroy McKev. The moment they sent the regulators here, it was obvious the huts had something to hide. Now their secret's out. Every scrap of data I collected here proves. The Hut Cartel's deep drilling has destabilized Makeb. These ground quakes are only the start. Entire mesas will collapse. No, not the mesas. Gravitational decay will strip away the atmosphere, kill everything. Makeb will become totally uninhabitable. If what you're saying is true, we need to get everyone off this planet right away. We don't have enough transports to get everyone through the atmosphere in time. We need a real solution. I think there's a way to save Makeb, but I need you to work with me. I'll warn you now. I'm snappish. Everyone says so. It's not personal. I'd say you're handling yourself just fine under the circumstances. My family is full of politicians. They say this is my way of rebelling. Did I mention I'm the one who convinced Uncle Shalem to contact the Republic? You're welcome. You made it! We followed Prosk's signal and... W where's Prosk? I'm sorry. He didn't... He's gone. He died. Doing what he loved. Getting shot in the face. He gave his life saving Lemda. The best way to honor that sacrifice is by continuing the fight. I know. I will. We'll get her back to Shalem. There's a clear path back to the landing zone, thanks to you. Meet me at Uncle Shalem's office. We need to figure out a plan. <laughs> we only killed like six people. I don't know how that cleared a path out, but whatever. All right. Back to uh, Shalem Vista's office. Where we'll talk about stuff and things. And have to do other weird missions. Dang it. So this would be our base for operations for a while. And then eventually we'll move to another location. Ooh. Yeah, his office got wrecked. He got wrecked pretty bad. This is nothing, Uncle. I've run the numbers. Two days, maybe less. And your office is at the bottom of a sinkhole. Stinkhole? At least your expensive education has finally amounted to something. Jerk. I'd repay that loan. Bet you're wishing you'd listened to me sooner, not dismissed me as a loudmouth conservationist. Hey, Vet. Major, welcome back. Lemda told me all about Havoc Squad's daring rescue. Thank you. We suspected McKev was becoming unstable, but I had no idea things were this bad. We never should have let the Hut Cartel establish their mining operation. I didn't realize the cartel set up shop on your world before the takeover. We negotiated mining contracts with them a decade ago. They gave our economy a tremendous boost. I've been yelling about that boost for years. Moving on. The regulators who held me hostage were a chatty bunch. Time to regulate. Mostly filthy language and bragging about their blasters. But <laughs> the leader said something interesting. He mentioned Project Failsafe, a HUT emergency plan if their mining went wrong. That mercenary believed the HUTs have something to instantly stabilize Makeb. Did this mercenary say anything else about Project Failsafe, where it is, how it works? The conversation dried up when you started attacking their camp. Not that I'm ungrateful. Huh. Millions could die while we wait for the huts to act. 
We need to claim Project Failsafe for ourselves before it's too late. Right. To Laos City, the Hut Embassy database. Hylosoft's right. Data on Project Failsafe would be stored in the Hut Embassy's computers in Talao City. Unfortunately, that's under cartel control. We need Chief Herkwill, Talao City's Herc former security commander. He and a few loyal men have a hidden camp outside the city. They'll get you inside the city and embassy. How does a security chief know the way into the Hut Embassy? Herkwill set up the Hut's original defenses. He built it. He knows how to break it. Ah, uh, okay. The Hut's control to Lao City and the surrounding area. Is that butt shot the again? In the countryside. Expect plenty of regulators. Chief Herkwell's camp is hidden at these coordinates. Don't die. You're all we've got. So she is also um, the first uh, character you encounter that swings both ways in terms of uh, who she ho you romance with her as far as I know in uh, this game it doesn't matter if you're a male or female if you flirt with her she will you know say stuff and eventually you'll kiss her towards the end of the whole whole um, whole scenario so yeah as far as I know she's the first one that swings both ways besides Lana and um after this would be Lana and, uh, dang it. Man, I forgot his name. Oh my God. Chief Herkwell. Shalem <laughs> Vesta sent us. He Roy Baker's character the there. Embassy. It's an honor, Major. Forgive the smell, but I haven't seen a working shower Sean. before the takeover. Hut Embassy's locked up tight. Used to have a fancy pants bureaucrat helping us inside. Representative Eklund, but he's gone quiet. Probably dead. Good news is, the cartel hasn't changed anything at their embassy. Got the same turrets, droids, pass codes I set up for them. Lazy huts. If your intel's good, this'll be a walk in the park. Walk might be generous, but your survival odds just went up to 50-50. You want inside the hut embassy, you'll have to finesse three layers of security. First layer is heavy turrets in the courtyard. Uh -huh. The only good thing to come out of these ground quakes is that they expose the turret power generators. Overload those, and turrets lose their punch. Disable the turret power generator so we don't get torched on the way in, and then? Security layer two is the embassy's main door. Three meters of reinforced Durasteel. Even a lightsaber would take hours to cut through. No, I don't have a lightsaber. The door will unlock for a diplomatic passcode. Ah, I mean, anyways. Generate one by accessing the government building secure terminal. Get inside the government building, slice the secure terminal for a passcode, and get out. Next. Last but not least are the security droids. Top of the line Arcanian models. Mm. Nasty disposition. Shoot intruders on sight. Good news is they can be reprogrammed. The droid control station in my old security HQ will do the trick. We'll get the droids working for us. Smart thinking, Chief. We're on our way. Mm. Hit those objectives and I guarantee you'll get inside the embassy. Whether you find your answers is a different matter. If Representative Eklund's still alive, maybe help him escape. He's a fuss budget, but basically all right. I'll keep a comm channel open when I can. Can you give me uh, grooming skills, how to grow that sick mustache, bro? Mustache, sick, bro. Sick, bro. Sick mustache, bro. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Agent Sean there. Oh, what's his first name? Blanking real bad. I know it's Troy Baker who does the voice work for it, but I honestly can't read life. It is. Nope. I know Lana Blinko. Blinko. Pinko Blinko. But Agent Sean's first name? Not ringing any bells for some reason. Oh, well, he'll be probably in the next stream, which will be in a couple, maybe a few days from now. Monday, it's Friday and Saturday. We're going to be taking a bit of a break. So you can fight these people and get bonus points if you want. I don't really care. I'm just trying to get through this area. Let's see. 
The first one is downstairs, if I remember correctly, and the next one is... Yeah. The first one is downstairs in the tunnel. The civilian casualties from a quake powerful enough to do this. Damn. I've never heard her say anything before, but I've, like I said, I've, I have never gotten, I mean, I've gotten this far, but I never really had a, I don't remember who was my companion when I did these quests, so. Okay, so the tunnel is over here on the left. Sneak through all these guards. Yeah, I honestly don't remember uh, anybody saying anything here. But this is the first playthrough with the trooper for me, getting this far. So, I want to say I have done Tallow City, but I have no idea where I left off at, so. Time to murder. Engaging hostile. You be dead. What? Where did these come from? Dang it, I hate when the camera does that. Not to try to make anybody sick while playing this game, but you won't have to worry about those turrets. Thanks for the update, Chief. Not that I don't want to make anybody sick doing it, but it's whenever you right-click sometimes, because I use right-click to, to strafe and move and hold the camera steady, which is, you know, standard procedure for most video games or RPGs, is right-click is the um, in-third-person perspective to, you know, strafe or maneuver left-right. All right, this part's goofy as heck. We have to get on that rising platform. So, <sighs> there we go, budge. <sighs> and she'll just kind of teleport. Yep. Okay. And next one's over here in this little house building. Sneak past all these idiots. I have to kill these guys in here. Enemy down. There we go. I'm trying my best not to kill the droids, but we'll see. That should take care of the security droids. <laughs> stealthy, stealthy. All right, the next one is up over here, past this dog deer thing. Something I got stolen from the Met. Is that? That kind of looks like um, the Easter Island uh, giant head over there. What's that doing in the Star Wars universe? You don't say. No running away from this. That passcode will open the embassy's main doors. The hot embassy's all yours. Mind your step in there. You know what I like about Fallout 4 and Skyrim? You pick up the weapons that they drop. And you could possibly use them if you're, you know... You can, if you want them. Or you can sell them. In other video games like RPGs, you don't get the sword like the like these MMOs, you don't get the swords or guns that they're wielding. Which is weird, but I understand it. I understand the why. 
So you're supposed to kill 25, and I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to go back and kill 25. I can kill all these clowns, though. Not that I want to, but I'm going to have to kill a few of them. <laughs> Killed him so hard, he fell into the wall. Alright, I'm going to kill this guy right here. Oh no! Those people are just like, yep! Waiting our turn to get inside! Just waiting our turn to get in. Not running away when somebody's shooting somebody else in the face. <laughs> Execute order 66. Acknowledging new ident code. Greetings, Senior Command Unit 223. Yep. Here's another new command for you. Blast anyone who follows us through that door. Acknowledged. Feel free to inspect the embassy. You will find everything in order. In alphabetical order. Hopefully, for your sake. <laughs> Alright, let's kill these clowns. No! Pew, pew, pew. Shoot you in the face! Oh, for crying out loud. Those little stuns are annoying. He was just minding his own business and got shot in the face. And to you. You loot so fast, you just don't see what's good. You get in your inventory sometimes. All right, more dialogue. Wait, please. I'm an unarmed civilian. Representative Eklund with the McKeb Provisional Authority Council. Kill him! The official liaison to the Hut Cartel. Whatever you need, I'll make sure you get it. Just don't hurt me. I'm Republic Special Forces, Havoc Squad. Shayla Movesta sent me. That madman's gotten the Republic Army involved? <laughs> is he trying to start a war? Yep. Like it or not, the Hut control McKeb now. Our only option is to cooperate, make the best of our new situation. Mm, no. Instead, Shalem stirs up trouble. He doesn't realize how much worse the Hut could make things for us. The Huts aren't here to rule Makeb. They're here to destroy it. Their deep drilling has destabilized the planetary core. Why would they do that? Makeb is an investment for them. If they destroy the planet, they lose their assets. And their sides. Most of the Huts are here on the surface. If the planet explodes, they go with it. It's illogical. Geological readings show this planet is coming apart. But we think the Huts have a project failsafe to deal with the situation. Sure they do. Go and kill them. You'll risk anything to find it. Well... I'll save some lives and help quash this rumor for good. <laughs> if this project failsafe exists, it doesn't. There must be some record of it in the embassy's archives. There isn't. I'll get you access to them. You won't. But the huts are on high alert. They've already summoned reinforcements. You'll have to deal with them. I'll meet you in the archive room. The guards aren't a problem for me, but you won't stand a chance if they catch you. I've worked at this embassy for years. I know my way around. You worry about. I know where the good orders. bathrooms are at too. I'll make sure we can access the hut archives. Good luck. Is it archives or anchovies? Incoming. Do, 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 do. Sneaking through the embassy. 
watching out not to kill any delegates or droids, but we'll probably end up killing them anyway, because we're clumsy like that. Guy has no face. He must scream. Wow. Not bad. Beep, 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 boop, 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 beep. Security protocols have been disabled. Eklund came through. Almost. I ran when I heard the fighting. Let me finish this. The finish it. Dr. McKeb is named Taboro. If Project Failsafe exists, there should be some reference to it in his communication logs. The Huts are bound to be sending more reinforcements. We haven't got much time. Here, a hollow from someone named Vidrig has a no. Project Failsafe tag. Let's hear what it says. Stuff and things. Greetings, O oh great and glorious Taboro. I'm happy to report that Project Failsafe is both on schedule and under budget. Your grand arc is approaching completion. Ever met this Vidrig before? He sounds like a used speeder salesman. I've heard the name once, but this is the first I've seen of him. Hideous fellow. <laughs> As these schematics illustrate, <laughs> the Ark's ingenious outer layer will completely shield the vessel and its precious contents from McKeb's atmospheric unpleasantness. The cargo hold will store your entire Isotope 5 stockpile, while your chosen few companions travel in luxurious comfort on the Ark's upper decks. Tabaro's building a starship to evacuate the huts and transport this Isotope 5 off-world. Whatever that stuff is, it's worth McKeb's destruction. We've never mined anything called Isotope 5. It must be something the huts discovered. Mm -hmm. Professor Tabaro, may I suggest replacing these standard passenger cabins with deluxe suites more suited to a hut of your stature? I can easily add them before the Ark's completion. This hollow is recent. Vidrig is still building the Ark. That means there's time to steal it for ourselves and evacuate the planet. Based on the schematics, we'll have room for the whole population if we convert the cargo hold to carry passengers. Oh, yeah. There are only so many places the huts could hide such a massive project. We have to find it. Evacuating this planet will require someone with resources and contacts. Shalem Avesta has both. Oh, yeah. I'll scour these archives and transmit everything I find to Shalem. Given the circumstances, I feel rather unsafe remaining here. Okay. There's a shuttle pad nearby. If you remove the guards and unlock the shuttles, we could all fly away safely. Will do. Sneak out of here. They're outside. Crap. Kill these. Stealth for the win. Pretty easy. Kill this guy, and that's it. We did it! Yay! And it only took... Jeez, this thing takes forever. Okay. I talked to this guy. You're alive. Guess my advice worked, huh? Shalem told me to patch you through right away. We're already analyzing the project failsafe plans Representative Eklund transmitted to us. They're sickening. The hilarious. Well, the HUD is masterminding the greatest crime in galactic history. With Vigrix's Ark, they'll escape McKeb and leave us all to die. We can't let that happen. The only way that Ark's leaving is with us at the helm and McKeb's people safe inside it. If there's any justice in the galaxy, we'll get to see the look on Taboro's face as we depart in his starship. Not likely. I'll match the Ark's construction site map to topographic readings. The Ark's being built at a secret facility inside the giant sphere. Mm -hmm. That's a big tourist trap. 
A mesa with a hollow interior. Too dangerous to colonize, but perfect for hiding an Ark's construction. Commandeering a ship that size won't be easy. What objectives do we hit to secure the Ark? Can't say yet, Major. We're sending probe droids to survey the area. Mm. Contact me when you're the giant spear. I'll help you plan this attack. It won't be an easy fight. That sure be a fun one. Don't look at me. I've got a city to evacuate. Good luck. Oh yeah, the pressure's on now to get off McKeb. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. What's good about this place is we don't have to see all the flying. We just teleport you to the next location. All right. So this is where we're going to start getting close to uh, accessing where we're going to be fighting from at some point, about halfway through the level. Ilisov, we're at the <clears> giant <throat> spear. What have you got for us? Stuff. We have droids to scan the zone ahead of you. Their reading was not good news. Whatever. Regulator fire teams are patrolling the site. <clears throat> some of Vice Commandant Grevin's finest, backed by top lieutenants from out of cartel. Everyone's packing military hardware. Me too. You're the expert on regulator tactics. How do we get through your old friends? The fire teams are spread out for patrol sweeps. Take those teams out fast enough and you shouldn't have to worry about a coordinated defense. Huh. The Ark construction site's behind a triple-bladed Durasteel blast door. It takes three separate key cards to open the thing. Only cartel representatives carry them. All right. The huts only trust the regulators up to a point. You need to find the cartel's top lieutenants and get their key cards. Thanks for the intel and advice. We'll contact you again when we unlock that blast door. I'll keep searching the files in case there's anything else. Good luck. All right. We got to find the silver dudes. You can do this other side quest. To, um, here's one. Which involves the suitcases and crap. One down. Three to go. Two to go. It's not like I don't fighting or anything. It's just I want to make those quick because this one, this one's not one of the fun ones. Just a hunk of hunk of burning. I'm on fire. Turn off the fire. Yeah, I'm just skipping ahead all this. I don't want to do the bonus missions. I just want to get this done. Quick and painless. Supply tunnel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'm going the wrong way. Just sneaking through. You guys don't see me. That's okay. Yeah, this place is definitely the best place in all of Star Wars. Doop -doop -doo. -ba -ba -no. Hey, this guy's gonna lose their face. Got little dots on him. Took you out. Uh-huh. Guess I'm not high enough for that one. Cutscenes. Lots and lots of cutscenes. Good. Seal it behind you. 
There ought to be a control panel nearby. Scramble those security codes. That'll keep reinforcements from following you. <laughs> Schematics for the art construction site are a mess. Can't tell what half the symbols mean. Just do whatever it takes to secure the arc. And good luck. Thanks, Steve Bloom. Good luck to you, too. And whatever it is that you're doing for voice acting right now. Okay. So this next is another cutscene. Now, on the opposite end of the map, the, the Empire is trying to take over Makeb. Stealthily as possible. The public is well known on Makeb, but the Empire is kept well hidden. They're trying to be as quiet as possible to get the Isotope 5. They inadvertently save the planet by destroying the planet, so just so they can have Isotope 5, and it's a pretty interesting concept where the Republic is just trying to get the heck out of here and save its people, or people. Oops. I think that guy has an Imperial shield on his arm. This is insane. My men are working triple overtime, and we're still falling behind. Work faster. Steve Bloom again. Look. We both know Vidrig's scaring off the top. If this keeps up, we'll never finish the arc. You got a big mouth, Tiero. Maybe I'll shut it for you. Fair warning. If you don't stand down in the next three seconds, you'll be spitting teeth. <laughs> Wait. You. You're who Taboro's yelling about. Give me a hand here. He's worth a fortune dead. Oh, Steve Bloom is all over the place. This is the arc. The hot Vinny, I've been busy. Republic, huh? Don't know what they're doing on Macab, but thanks. These cartel idiots won't listen to reason. Well, you know. I calling for help and get a blaster shoved in my face. The huts work us to death, treat us like slaves. No, like animals. We're here to commandeer the Ark for the people of Makeb. Once it's secure, you and your men will be freed. Sure. But we're working 18-hour days. No breaks, no visits. That's not what I said, it's idiot. Vedric's orders. My men break their backs, building his Ark while he steals everything not bolted down. Thanks to Vedric, the Ark's weeks behind schedule. My crew can't finish the ship while that slimy Devaronian selling off its components. Vidrig's scam is about to end. When we neutralize him, be ready to work. You actually want the Ark completed? I suppose we can do that. <laughs> I'll tell my crew to lay low. Put Vidrig in his place, and we'll help you out however we can. Alright, I gotta get wait for the elevator to come back down there. There's a giant rocket ship. A literal giant rocket ship. Got the best Ugnaught engineer in four sectors on retainer. She's a genius with electro plumbing. Electro plumbing. We'll have the classiest refresher in Coruscant, boss. Still can't decide what to put in the sonic shower. Felucian glimmerstones look so elegant, but I love Rylothian onyx tile. Feel free to go solve your interior decorating problem. This entire facility is now Republic property. You're that Republic hero to borrow screaming about on the hollow. Yep. The cartel's so worried they're paying double to finish the arc ahead of schedule. That's on top of what they're offering to kill you. Good luck with that. Took out your mastermind here.
Oh dang it, I was gonna get the other one. Oh well. One's better than none. Never let it be said I'm not generous in defeat. You can have this incredible marvel of starship design at a 20% discount. 30%? I don't think you understand the gravity of your situation. Gravity, huh? Good one. Hey oh work, but she's almost ready to fly. Besides, being incomplete means there's room to customize. Let me live, and I'll have this baby ready to leave the atmosphere in no time. You won't find a better offer, trust me. I don't count on being trusted, but you can work for our people. Hello, Vidrig. Time to earn your pay. Looking forward to it. Could you spare some culto first? <laughs> Haven't had contact with the outside in weeks. This is Foreman Tiero and Republic forces calling from Giant Spear. Does anyone read? Loud and clear, Tierra. We sent those Republic forces. What's the Ark's status? Is it secure? Go ahead. Give them the bad news about the Ark. It's incomplete, but... Is the Ark that important? Foreman, this is Shalem Avesta. Makeb's core is tearing apart, and we can't stop it. That Ark is our people's only hope of escape. Oops. If I send you every able body I have, and guarantee your safety... Can you finish the Ark in time to evacuate our world? I'll blast it well try. I'll Huts blast it well try. Counterattack. <laughs> We're forming a battle plan to defeat it. We'll brief you back here. Hurry. If the Huts are striking back, should we leave these workers and the Ark unguarded? You lock the main blast door. We can hold out until reinforcements get here. Vidrig kept a private shuttle pad nearby. You can take his transport while we get to work. Sure. All right. We're going on the offensive. We're going to kill the regulator leader, I believe. Stand by for examination and suggested product. Yeah, I don't need any McKeb, uh points. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I've done this so many dang times, I really don't need their um, stuff. They fixed the place up Thank a little bit. Thank you for securing the Ark, Major. No one on this planet fights with Havoc Squad's heart. You honor us. The Ark's missing more than a few vital components. We're still a long way off from loading it with evacuees. Foreman Tierro is one of the best ship men on McKeb. He'll get the job done if we protect his construction site. We intercepted priority Bunch signals shots. from the cartel. Every regulator in this hemisphere has been ordered to retake the Ark at all costs. If we knew the regulator army's staging point, we could potentially cut them off. Surest way to close any deal is by blocking the competition from bidding. Mm -hmm. Some refugees know how to use a blaster. I'll organize the security force to protect the Ark. Navigator, we'll need your shuttle. Come on. My people are scouting for regulator activity and reporting what they find. We've identified one major staging area. The Fingers. Originally yeah. one mesa, until a quake redecorated the place. Now it's held together by a series of interconnected energy fields, light bridges. The regulators store heavy artillery and weapon caches there. Here we go. If those mercenaries rearm, they'll blast us to oblivion. The Ark construction site isn't built to withstand bombardment. We better take out the artillery first. It'll make a fitting display of power, Major. We know the Regulator's army also includes war droids and a battle platform. We're still scouting for those. Translation, he's finding lots of ways to risk your life. Hmm. You're trying to save your people and we're your best chance. There's nothing to apologize for. Who was apologizing? <laughs> Once you've destroyed the artillery and weapon caches in the fingers, contact me. I should have additional targets by then. Good luck. Aw, oh, man. If there was an actual time limit, I'd be getting kind of... I'm getting kind of anxious playing this. I don't know why. This is like, oh, man, what's going to happen? I already know what's going to happen. Well, the fingers are actually located on the Mesa. You don't have to fly anywhere. You just have to go down and around. But you imagine being on this planet, trying to save your people, actually trying to do this reality just feel the tensity of the situation the gravity of the situation oh we gotta rescue these people there's a certain amount of time if we don't do it they're all gonna die it's up to us havoc squad 
out in the field, taking care of business. Yeah, the fingers are just down and around over here. You take the light bridge over here, which sometimes looks like it's not there, but it's there. You can see the purple, right? But at the wrong angle, it's like, oh my god, something there? It's there. Alright, so we just have to head up here and just start taking out people and see these things, we have to blow them up. <laughs> Quit running away, jerk! Jeez. I ran all the way to frickin' next door. That was interesting. Blew up before it blew up. You can destroy basically all of them in the first Mesa if you're really good. Which we are. Incoming. Look out, heavy operator droid! Ah! Uh, killed the heavy operator droid. Yeah! Speaking of um, interesting things, I watched episode three of the Bad Batch season two, and that was actually really good. Okay, I gotta kill this guy, and then I got the last one. should be safe for now. Shalem, come in. The regulator's weapon caches are all destroyed. Dun, dun, dun! I hope you're ready for more. We've detected an army of war droids massing for an attack. If those war droids make it across that bridge, they'll slaughter everyone in their path, including us. If the Huts can set up a light bridge, we can take it down. I had something slightly more destructive in mind. War droids are holding position for now, but you could lure them out by transmitting false orders from the mercenary army's comm towers. Once the droids are halfway across the light bridge, you could deactivate it. Cool. Drop the whole army into the depths. Those droids will spend the rest of this fight seven kilometers down. At the rate the planet's collapsing, they won't have time to rust. Huh. Slice into the mercenary comm towers. Transmit the false marching orders and deactivate the light bridge at the perfect moment. Good luck. All right. Onward to the light bridge, which is over this way. It's on the other side of the map there. Just have to get to the main road and then sneak around. Which sucks, I know, but whatever. Uh, yep, one stealthy section after another with this thing. It looks like it's not there, but it's actually there. Around these stupid things. Man. Let's just get the bonus points. Tree monster. I don't think it works over here, though. I'll have to look. If we don't get it, we don't get it. I'm not going back for five people. Yeah, it's not going to Yep. All right. We had to kill him over there. We didn't, so... Keep that in mind when you're playing through this. You have to kill all five, 20 of them on the other side. 
or else it doesn't count. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, so once we get this done, we'll be going to have to kill the regulator big guy. Somebody's ahead of us, I can tell. There's bodies everywhere. Yep. Yep. They cleaned out pretty much everybody around here. I don't care. I like that. It saves me some trouble. The Jedi. You can kill the people here, too, to get a bonus point, but like I said, I'm not wasting my time doing all these little goofy mix. These light bridges hardly seem ideal for daily use. Thanks for the input, Lara. Here they come. Oh. He bled out. Oh, F that. Here we go, cutscene time. Huh? <laughs> Not working. How? <laughs> uh oh and <laughs> they're still floating up there <laughs> that's a bug that's been around for a while so are those two alive or they're not The war droid army is gone for good. The regulators will think twice before setting foot on that light bridge. I know the cost per unit of those war droids. Between them and the weapons you destroyed, the regulators are over 300 million credits in the red. I won't be happy until we make the billion mark. Yeah. What else can we blow up? We finally tracked down the main mercenary base. Do it! A floating battle platform called the Storm Carrier. Here we go. Vice Commandant Grevin, the mercenary leader, is gathering troops there. We can't let Grevin's forces reach the Ark. The only way to stop the Storm Carrier is by overloading its power reactors to meltdown. Neutralize every Merc in our way and neutralize their battle platform. Standard Havoc Op. I've yet to see anything you don't do well, Major. Well, the Storm Carrier's coordinates. that's our safe for work anyways. Regulator shuttle near your position. You can fly it directly to the enemy and take them completely by surprise. Everything's riding on this. May fortune smile on us all. Of course it will. Story's got a story, right? Alright. Back up the hill and to the right. Dead I probably cleared out a path for us, so a lot of people, less people to kill around here. Shoot. What a stealth! Ah! Disappearing act. Here we go. This weird spaceship. That looks a lot... What the? It looks a lot bigger than what it is. All right. So the only thing you have to do over here for bonus missions, there's these blue pipes that are see sticking out right in front of me, and you have to basically throw grenades in there without being detected, which is not going to be easy. I have to murder people to get this to get done.
Do, do, do. Uh -huh. Yo, there we go. One. Two. And three. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to kill these people. You just got to get on the inside the ship. There's no... You just have to get inside, cripple the ship. You don't have to really kill too many people. I think you have to kill the people by the door, though. I can't remember. Nope. And now you're entering a special area where it's only you, story this mode. Vice Commandant Brevin. Intruders have boarded the storm carrier. All regulators, maximum alert. Regulate. Took him out. One, two, three. Don't have to kill any. Oh, what? I thought I deactivated. I have to deactivate both of them. Okay. Yeah. Oops. My bad. There we go. The reactors. Protect the control terminals at all costs. <laughs> you don't know where I'm at. I'm sneaking through, blowing up the place. You won't see it coming. Ow. Jerk. And to you. I told you I have this guy killed by the end of the whole situation. One million credits to whoever finds the intruders. Ten million to whoever kills them. Hey, there they are. I'll oh. have to kill these guys. That's it. All I have to do is activate this cutscene and fight the boss. <clears throat> Warning. Warning. Reactors 2, 5, and 8. Approaching critical mass. Carrier cooling system has been disabled. I knew you were ruthless, but you'd destroy this carrier. Kill everyone aboard just to make a point. If I didn't have to shoot you, I'd give you a job. My only loyalty is to the Republic and its people. You've attacked both, Brevin. Bad move. <laughs> loyalty only gets you killed, soldier. Whatever. Once you're dead, the cartel's paying us more than we'd earn in a lifetime from this planet's idiot government. McKeb can burn for all we care. No. So can your Republic. Isotope 5 will change everything. Once they're done mining McKeb, the Huts will own this galaxy. Your weapons and war droids are gone. The storm carrier's coming apart. Don't lose your last chance to get out of this. You've cost me a fortune today, but I can still recover my expenses. Time to settle your debt. That's it. He's dead. And now for a cutscene. Warning. Total reactor network meltdown in progress. Abandon ship. Repeat. Abandon ship. It's nice that she lends her voice to everything around here, too. Oh, 
Oh! Somebody left a potato in the microwave again. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Good thing this place blows up slowly. Not all at once. And we get out just in time as the submarine hits the ground. Ooh, ah. Hey, it's sliding off into the distance. It's still fine. Ta da! That was interesting and fun for the whole family. If anybody cared. over here and level 57 here we come all right and cutscene cutscene people of macab your heroes return watch out Uncle Shalen is running for president of whatever planet we all move to. The mm. Republic sent none less than the elite Havoc Squad to save us. They drove back the Regulators and secured the Ark. Makeb is a proud member of the Republic, and we are all Republic citizens. Whatever happens to this world, we stand united. The Huts want to crush your spirits, assault your freedom, but the Republic protects its own. You will have a new home. Stand against your oppressors and know that Havoc Squad is with you every step of the way. Sometimes. For Makeb. For the Republic. For the Empire. Wait. Hey. Yeah, let's go home. We're all going to die. <laughs> I meant what I said. All of it. Did you? The Ark is safe and we'll soon have it ready to fly. We've earned a moment to celebrate. Especially you. Back at the Hut Embassy, we found a hollow that said the Ark was being built to transport something called Isotope 5. When we faced Grevin, he said Isotope 5 will change the galaxy. But he wouldn't say how. Does that name mean anything to you? Sounds more like some idiotic Hut code name than a scientific discovery. Huh. We finally have Mighty to borrow the Hut's attention. How do you know that? Calling to congratulate us, old friend? You don't frighten us to borrow. If you had anything left to hit us with, you wouldn't be talking. Here it comes. Spare us your empty threats to borrow. Makeb is doomed, and the Ark is our only escape. If we give it back, we're all dead. Thanks for telling us where to fuel up the Ark. We'll be right over. Yes, yes it will. <laughs> One lady's just kind of cowering there, and while but both the Republic and Empire have to face these droids. I where that droid was attacking, Tarlem. Tarlem. It's a small city without defenses. I'll summon a shuttle to take you there. Please save my people. Machines are made to be broken. <laughs> Havoc Squad will dismantle to borrow's plaything. I'm sending an emergency signal to the Republic. We need a science expert down here. If Taboro's telling the truth about Isotope 5, we're still stranded, and that hut's going to slaughter us all. Hurry to Tarlem and stop his droid. Let's exit camera left here. Right, so not that it matters. 
There we go. 57. Woo! Alright. So after this mission, I believe we now move to a different location. And that'll be good because that'll be halfway. We'll be at least over the halfway point of this of this whole story mode. It is a really, really, really long, long slog through this one. If you thought Ilum was long, last night at this time we were uh, pretty much through the first instance, or at least halfway through the first instance. Now we're stuck over here. Yeah, we're not even... We're about, I would say, about halfway through this area. Oops. That's the last of the regulator's assets. The Ark Engineer should be safer now. What? Not the hardest one to take out, but still pretty easy. Scrap it. Yeah. That's how we roll. All right. This lady is hilarious. What's the galaxy coming to? Huts invading, planets cracking in half, and now that, that, whatever it was. Somebody tell me what that was. It appeared to be a droid, Mayor. Here I was, thinking it was a shiny Wookiee on stilts wearing turbo lasers for a hat. A droid, indeed. Now, who the blazes are you? Republic Special Forces Infantry Unit 326. My team's evacuating everyone off Makeb. Not everyone, hopefully. Huts can stay. <laughs> this mesa's already collapsing. Now, I've got wounded people everywhere, and all the working shuttle pads are outside town. You obviously can't stay. What will it take to get your people out of here safely? It's not a question of resources. We're racing disaster here. No telling mm. when this mesa will fall apart. Huh. Mayor, we're getting emergency alerts. The huts are landing reinforcements, mercenaries, and more of those droids. Lovely. I'm the one-legged woman at the droid kicking contest. <laughs> They're holding the shuttle pads. We'll never get off the mesa unless someone drives the enemy off. Leave the hut forces to me. I'll open the routes out of here. You be ready to move your people. Just clearing off the pads isn't enough, though. We need to stop the huts from landing more reinforcements until we've all evacuated. We could erect energy shields, Mayor. Cover the pads so they can only be used for flying out. Dun dun so, dun! Mayor, you're actually useful. Wow. We got you some energy shields. Could you set them up at each landing pad? You can count on me. Complicated missions are my specialty. Oh we'll yeah. The pads and make sure they won't work for the huts. Gather the wounded, prep for evacuation on the double. We are leaving. Take these energy shields. Activate them at the landing pads. Good luck. Just don't get overwhelmed by Imperials. Could you do that for me, please? I'd be appreciated. Good thing they don't have sensor droids around here. All right. Yeah, this is all going to be slow stealth. Slow stealth, slow stealth. So three places up there. Two are up top. One's down below. We have to drop these in. Kill the people that are on the shuttle platforms. Move on to the next one. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Not much of a challenge, really, if you're... You don't have to fight through all these people. I mean, look, you don't have to fight through these guys. You don't have to if you're stealthing. You don't have to fight these clowns. The only thing you have to fight are the people that are on the platform blocking the uh, access point. Hell, you don't have to fight these guys. They're not even close to it. You just have to fight the gold dude in the background. That's it. That's where we have to touch that purple thing. And he's dead. As it should be. Whoop! 
What? How the heck did that happen? Oh well. Yeah, you can kill 30 people if you want. I don't. This is my time with that. I want to get this done. I'm trying to get through this thing without having to deal with all that extra stuff, you know? That's the whole point of doing stealth. Just avoid conflict. I don't know what level is required for um, the uh, Fallen Empire, but well, we'll see. I think it'd be close to 60. Sneaking around, sneaking around. All I have to kill is the droid at the end of the platform. There he is, spawning right as soon as we get close enough. And it's a weaker droid, too. But what's going on over here? Engaging hostile. If you're on the Empire side, you get to fight a big droid. I mean, a huge one. And that boss fight is annoying. Because it's, um... It, he's, he's really powerful. And you have to stop every so often to activate these turbo lasers. But you're still in combat. So you get, you get shot at. And you still have to move around as he's firing nukes at you. So it's a it is one heck of a mission to kill this uh, boss droid. Is it? That is. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now we got a stronger one. Ooh. Just checking the time. Doing all right. This goes way faster. We don't have to murder everybody in your way. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that looks bad. Oh, get it out of here, Laura. That's awful. This force field should hold Friends me. Are attacking the central square. Help us! Help! Uh oh. Somebody's in trouble. Looks like we have to save them. Oh god, I hope it's not Imperial Forces. I'd be so upset if it was Imperial Forces. There's a few side missions here. The heroic missions here are really bizarre. I hope it's not Chist either. That would be really, really frustrating. If it was in Chist Imperial Forces. Oh, man! That's far enough. Thank you. Havoc squad. Garface. But I've been trained to neutralize superior forces. Seriously? Wait, the next ground quake could destroy this Mesa. Kill us all. Then let's keep the negotiations brief, hmm? We've done no harm to these people. All we seek is the droids' isotope 5 power supply. Mayor, is this Imperial telling the truth? None of your people were injured in the attack? Just a few bumps and bruises to get our attention. Don't much care for having a blaster stuck at my head, though. <laughs> Now's the opportunity to shoot him! No time for debate. Let us have the isotope 5 or we'll be forced to execute the prisoners. I'm sure no one wants that. You imps are the least of my worries right now. Get out of here. I appreciate your ability to see the larger picture. Come on, men. Thought we were deader than a depleted reactor. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure it wasn't easy letting those Imperials go. The Republic doesn't throw away its people just to win an argument. Had my doubts when Shalem pledged Makeb to you folks, but I've got no complaints now. Good. We better get moving. Wait. I'll tell Shalem to expect wounded. 
Mayor, good to see you alive. I trust everything is under control? This mace is falling apart under our feet and we've got wounded. We need a destination for these people right away. We'll have medics standing by at the refugee center, Mayor. Take your people there. Sure. I've set up a new camp near the art construction site. You have the coordinates. Meet me to plot our next move. We'll be there soon, Shalem. Do you have a plan in mind? The Republic sent down a top engineer to review the Ark schematics. He's made some interesting discoveries. Hurry. All right. That is the new area, which is over here. The command post. Save you some trouble instead of having to go fly around. So this is where we're going to be doing the rest of the missions. Once you get here, you're pretty much halfway over um, the uh, the work of doing this mission. These missions. So yeah, this is the halfway point. This next mission will be to rescue uh, a hut. Report your ailments. Which is important because he is an important character in the expansion as well. Return to your post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna to talk to this engineer. He's gonna be like, "Hey, yada yada yada." Ah, you're here. Good news. Tarlem's refugees evacuated safely, and no fresh reports of Taboro's droids. You bought us time, and we'll need it. This is Gazadar, one of the Republic's top engineers, and a brave man for coming down here. Sure, Major. It's an honor. I have a complete collection of Havoc Squad holovids. Your army's victory on Corellia. Amazing. I'm just a soldier doing a job. Some jobs are bigger than others. <laughs> From what I hear, this job's your biggest yet. Evacuating a whole planet. Incredible. Gaz just made it through the analysis of the Ark schematics. I'm sad to report that Taboro wasn't lying. The Ark was specifically built to run on Isotope 5. It's the only energy source capable of pushing that massive vessel through McKeb's atmosphere. I still haven't heard a decent explanation for what that substance is. It's delicious. Makes isotope 5 so special. It appears to be a radioactive variant. Where'd he go? Unique to McKenna's planetary <laughs> cooling. From what little I've examined, it's nearly a template element. Cool. Isotope 5 can be modified into all manner of useful configurations, including a potent fuel source. But I'm no expert. Then we need the real brains behind the Hut Cartel's operations here. Dr. Juvard Ilip Ogarab. Padme. And we know where he is. Whoa, the only five-time winner of the Beodur Science Prize is on McKeb? Are you saying he designed the Ark? Probably those droids, too. Dr. Ogarov has been holed up at the Sanctuary Research Complex since before his people invaded. If anyone knows about Isotope 5, it's him. Sounds like we're headed for Sanctuary. We need a full briefing and quick. I can feel the ground shifting while we stand here. Uh -huh. The Sanctuary Research Complex is one of the most advanced experimental laboratories in the galaxy. It's on an isolated mesa completely under HUD control. There's no telling what sort of defenses a genius like Dr. Ogarov has there. And you'll be going in blind. You'll be fine. There are data access terminals on Sanctuary's testing grounds. Try accessing one. It might let you disable any unwelcome surprises. Otherwise, good luck. I don't care how well defended Sanctuary is. I'm tougher. I'll have Dr. Ogarov back in time for dinner. I have no plans to feed him. It would cost a fortune. <clears throat> Please, for the love of science, don't hurt Dr. Ogarab. I didn't bring a way to preserve his brain. <laughs> don't be a weirdo. All right. Time to go save Dr. Ogarab. Blah, 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 blah. Welcome. Please select an available travel he will be your science technician later in the game in uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire after Chapter 8. He'll be the first one to send you on a mission to uh, rescue um, your, your Gan fellow there. Yoon. He'll be the one to help you rescue Yoon when you get, when you get done there. No scout droids. This is great. Yes, you can kill. A lot of these missions have kill this person here, kill this person here. X amount of people. Depends on what you want to do. I don't really care right now. It's high time you Republic agitators showed up to borrow his brutes of this entire facility captive. 
I was wondering if you'd ever bother liberating it. We're not getting a stable image on this end. Who are you? And how do you know us? Please, call me Lippy. After huh. all you've done to the cartel, everyone on Makev knows you. Do they? There are many on this mesa being forced to work as slaves. We would be honored to aid your attack. Sure. We possess detailed data on the lethal security grid to borrow and install across the mesa. We'll help you destroy it so you can enter the main complex and we can escape. If you have information, now's the time to share it. Things are about to get loud. Ha. We're transmitting data on several key objectives. Each will provide you ample opportunity to convey your displeasure with Taboro. Stand by. Skip over the details. Follow those instructions precisely. You'll not only gain access to the main complex, you'll destroy Taboro's security grid. We'll speak again when you reach the main the complex. The light flashing out of my face. Hope nobody I had any. To imagine what sort of research has been going on here. Whatever, Alara, you don't care. Okay. Yeah, the so I keep getting distracted. The uh, Badge Batch season three episode or season two episode three is pretty sweet, so I like it. We're not destroying forty forces. Jeez. Moving on to the next one. I'm not doing the bonus missions. I've already decided that. It's a waste of time. If you want to do the bonus missions, be my guest. Have fun. Sometimes there's a prisoner in here you can kill. If you're strong enough. Yep, there it is. It's like a world boss or something. <laughs> yeah, the season three episode is pretty sweet. I'd recommend one. for those clowns they will rip you to shreds i had to fight them once they nearly killed me Whew. not as this character but another one but if i was doing this character it'd probably kill me to shreds you say jerk one is up and to the right yay we did it hmm. okay all right down and around we go We might take the fast way down. Might as well jump. Go ahead and jump. Like we're dying around here. All right. So much for your security droid, huh? Okay, and then Taboro security grid is down. We're entering the main complex. Splendiferous. Huh. You've eliminated many of that bully's unforgivably barbaric thugs. Not really. They remain inside the complex. Once you've eliminated them and disabled any internal defenses, we will evacuate sanctuary. 
Your heroics are most appreciated, and we will return the favor. It is obvious you came for the illustrious Dr. Ogorov. We're transmitting his coordinates so that you may quickly find him. Best of luck. Not that challenging, sir. Or madam. Or whatever you identify with. The choice is yours. And yours alone. Alright, there's the main compound right there. Hidden in the valley. We're just gonna go in and disable the inner security grid. We're not gonna kill anybody. I mean, I like the base layouts. Don't get me wrong. They're pretty sweet. Although, this needs some railing or something. OSHA violations all over the place around here. <laughs> this is them by employees OSHA regulations. These people do count towards the bonus too if you're As long as they don't see me, I don't care. The only one we have to kill is this one over here. Because he can see us, I think. Or not. Ah, oh, crap. Pew, 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 pew. Let's kill these guys too. <laughs> yep. Kill these guys. Just dot everybody. What was the next combat proficiency? Was it 70? 60. Okay. 60 and we become a major BA. We get to shoot people from the front instead of behind them now. And we don't have to be in stealth to use a black back blast. It turns into a different uh, mover move. I don't know why we're stealthing. There's nobody here. Alright. Mission complete. Mm-hmm. Havoc Squad's coming for you next. Be a good host and prepare snacks. Churlish nincompoop. You can see why I was forced to lend my brilliance to your assault. I'm glad you're here. Yep. My apologies for the earlier subterfuge. Unnecessary contrivance. Taboro seized control of my defenses and was watching me closely. But I am no one's prisoner. You know why we're here. Millions of innocent people will die if we don't get the fuel for Taboro's Ark. Then you have come to the wrong place. Taboro took every microgram of it, including the Ark's fuel rods that I constructed. Uh -oh. We have complementary goals. You want what Taboro possesses, and I wish very much not to die here. Yeah. Provide me with transport off this doomed planet. I will aid your efforts to recover the Isotope 5 fuel rods that power Taboro's Ark. You're the only halfway decent hut we've met in a while. I suppose that should count for something. How fortunate for me that my brethren have profoundly lowered your expectations. <laughs> I have a personal shuttle here. It's large enough to accommodate us all. Thanks to you, it can now fly. We should leave before Taboro sends an army to kill us. Take me to your allies, and I will explain what must be done. And cutscene. 
And back to where our allies are at. Yay! Alright, I believe this is probably going to be the end. Because I think the next one we go do the platforms. And the platforms are... Ugh, they're time consuming. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Which means we'll be able to finish it. We get this to part two next time. Yeah, that's why I said about McKeb. This is two hours right here, and we're we're going quick as we can without doing with doing stealth. You imagine fighting through all these people? Yeah, I don't wonder why people just go, "Oh man, I can't get through this." <laughs> Doctor, it's such an honor. I'm so glad we weren't forced to kill you. Don't make our guest any more nervous than he already is. The Republic only kills in self-defense. As I saw on our flight from Sanctuary, you specialize in artful property damage. <laughs> now that you're here, what can you tell us about Isotope 5? How does it fuel the Ark? Isotope 5. Tomorrow's great discovery at the center of Makeb. Something truly unique in all the galaxy. And worth destroying this planet to obtain. Oh. Imagine a substance as light as shimmer silk, but stronger than durasteel. It distorts gravity and electromagnetic fields so predictably that it can be refined into fuel. Oh. Isotope 5 has limitless potential to remake this galaxy. Those droids you battled were first generation prototypes, playthings. Are you saying there are even more advanced versions of those droids? How many? What are their capabilities? Taboro has dozens of prototype weapons. Their capabilities vary based on whatever creative inspiration moved me that day. Oh boy. I crafted a beautiful set of isotope 5 fuel rods to power Taboro's arc. Some of my finest work, but you'll never see it. <laughs> According to my data stream, Taboro has increased mining production to maximum levels. McKeb's destruction will arrive far ahead of schedule. You have a spacecraft, yes? We should depart immediately. We won't abandon millions of McKeb refugees. You said you could help us get the fuel rods back. That was before I saw the latest updates on Taboro's drilling operations. The mining platforms are massive lasers drilling directly into the planet. Shutting them down would release core pressure and buy us time. Hmm. Attacking the mining platforms would be suicidal. Even worse, it might kill me. Wait, why do I get the feeling you're serious? What does Tabaro have guarding these mining platforms? <laughs> With a steady supply of raw isotope 5, my former employer can power a multitude of devices designed to exterminate all trespassers. We need to deactivate all of Tabaro's mining platforms. That's the only way to slow McKeb's destruction until we can get the Ark's fuel rods. I fear it won't be as easy as flipping switches. The platforms and their control rooms will be heavily defended. Everything on this planet has been an ordeal. I'd hate to break our perfect record. <laughs> don't worry. Those drilling lasers are going offline. If they don't, I doubt we'll see each other again. I'll have a transport to the mining platforms prepped for you immediately. Keep us apprised of your progress. Yeah, well, if there was time, we definitely would do that. We're not doing that today. Because that's a, that's a, that's a whole... Standby for examination and suggested products. That is a whole, whole mess of things. I mean, a mess of things. Because there's like um, three lasers we have to shut down, and you have to do a bunch of random tasks and kill people, and it's like, uh, no. Um, but, anyways. Yeah, that's going to be it for the stream tonight. We'll call it good. A little early tonight, but that's fine. We'll be back on Monday. To uh, continue on the story in the cab, should be able to finish that and start with uh, uh, prequel to the prequel to the Shadow of Revan, involving um, Agent Theron Shan and Lana Beninko. They will be introduced in the next stream, or not? Well, Theron at least will be brought brought into the next stream. I don't know about Lana. I can't remember how long the uh, in flashpoints are for the invasion of Korriban and the Battle of Tython, but. She may be on there if we get to Mon, but I don't know how much time we'll have in between um, the cutscenes and how many fights we have to do. It will be quicker because we have stealth and we can avoid just uh, fighting things that we don't have to fight. But, you know, since we're battling Korriban and Tython, you know, it'll be, it'll be 
it'll be what it is, I guess. So thanks all for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Watch my YouTube channel for previous streams. Uh, all you fellow Darfs, Lords, Acolytes, and Sith, remember, the Force will serve you well.